Welcome back. Now, I know, I know this is usually a show where you come to find some light relief at the end of the day. You know, let's be honest, it's something to help you fall asleep. But if it's OK, I'd love to just take a moment to talk to you about a story that has moved us here at The Late Late Show. I want to share with you the story of Julius Jones, a man you may not have heard of, but whose current circumstances demand your attention. 20 years ago, Julius was a promising college athlete with an academic scholarship to the University of Oklahoma and a bright future ahead of him. Today, he is less than two months away from being executed. Julius is on death row in Oklahoma for a 1999 murder he has always said he had no part in. He was convicted and sentenced to death in what was, in my opinion, an unjust trial at the age of 19 and has now spent half of his life in prison waiting to be executed despite overwhelming evidence of his innocence. Julius came from a tight-knit family who, according to his younger sister, spent the night of the murder in question eating dinner together, playing Monopoly and arguing over who ate the last piece of cookie cake. But that alibi that I just told you was never heard by the jury in Julius's trial because he was represented by an inexperienced public defender who later admitted under oath to making key mistakes in this case, including not showing crucial photo evidence, not cross-examining witnesses, and when it was time to present their case, Julius's lawyer stood up and said, the defence rests. And there are so many other ways that this case was stacked against Julius from the start. Julius didn't even match a detailed description of the suspect given by the only eyewitness. The elected prosecutor was a man called Cowboy Bob Macy, who had a known reputation for misconduct. In fact, almost one third of his death penalty convictions have been overturned for exactly that reason. There was also evidence of obvious racial bias. Both the arresting officer and one of the jurors used racial slurs towards Julius, and the prosecutor repeatedly brought up Julius's race before the trial, using it as a weapon against him when it had nothing to do with the case. And if that wasn't enough, to call Julius's death sentence into question, which it is, but if it isn't, somebody else has confessed to the murder. Multiple people have signed sworn affidavits testifying that another man said that he committed the murder and framed Julius for it. I'm not a legal scholar, but even if you don't accept that Julius Jones is an innocent man, it seems pretty clear that he did not have a fair trial. And I just need to say it again, there's somebody else out there openly confessing to the murder that Julius is convicted of. Now, all of this is happening in Oklahoma, a, a, a state with a large, vibrant, faith-based population. Now, I know how I feel about the death penalty, but that isn't what this is about or what it should become about. As someone who grew up in a Christian household, my father was a Bible salesman. I know that the people of o Oklahoma share my belief that the most unchristian thing you can do is take the life of an innocent person. The only way we can find out if justice has been served is if Julius is given a chance to present the case for his innocence. Now, look, I know, I know that so much of your, your, your social media feeds today and the news feeds at the moment are full of injustices around the world and it can sometimes, it can feel overwhelming. We all feel powerless in the fight to help those who are helpless. But Julius Jones will be scheduled for execution in a matter of weeks. They're going to take his life. After 20 years in prison, they're going to kill him. And before he's sent to be executed, let's at the very least give the man a chance to state his case. That's all this is about. So what can we do? Now, Julius Jones has a hearing with the Oklahoma State Pardon and Parole Board set for October 5th, weeks before his scheduled execution. It's the last chance for them to review his case, hear from Julius directly and decide whether or not to spare his life. And here's what I'm asking of you, if you can, if you can find the time, go to justiceforjuliusjones.com where you can sign the petition to commute Julius's sentence and reach out directly to the Oklahoma governor 
and the Pardon and Parole Board, they hold Julius's life in their hands. And as criminal justice reform advocates, we hope so much that they will recognise Julius's case as an opportunity to right the wrongs of the past. I sincerely beg you to join me in taking action and shining a light on Julius's story because together we might be able to spare the life of an innocent man. And Julius, if you ever get to see this, if you can watch this somehow, I want you to know, all of us, we stand with you and we will never stop fighting for you. Go to justiceforjuliusjones.com.